How's it going, everyone? It's DJ, and I am very tired. Uh, but basically, today we're going to be talking about Hypixel Slayers and Skyblock, because this is my 100% serious guide to Skyblock Slayers. I'm going to be telling you every single menial detail, right down to the single pixels on the Revenant Horror Tier 5. Anyways, as per usual, over 95% of you guys aren't subscribed, so if you see the big red subscribe button, just please slap the subscribe button, as many YouTubers would say. Anyways, let's just get right into this thing. Anyways, Slayers were added back in October 2019 in Hypixel Skyblock, and essentially it involves you doing the same menial task for 5,000 hours. And you just keep le and they just go through each boss, and then you get a whole bunch of stuff. And then basically, just the uh, ha three quarters of the things you get from doing this are just items that'll help you kill the bosses faster. So in the end, you basically just get nothing except for like one item that's actually useful, like outside of slayers. But that's aside from the point. Anyways, there are four different kinds of slayers currently in the game. There is zombie, tarantula. Uh, Wolf and the newly added, well, kind of newly added, is added in June. Uh, the Enderman Slayer. The each bo e each level of Slayer has four different levels: tier one, two, three, and four. Except for Zombie, the Revenant Horror, which has a tier five, which was recently added in March of this year. And basically, the 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 one that most people will go for is Zombie. Because if you grind that for 500 hours, you get a cool hat that can kill God, and it's really cool. And I always thought of it looks like a Mandalorian helmet, but it's like a night helmet. I don't know, man. But it looks cool. That's why I'm doing Zombie Slayer. Now, as I mentioned before, there's four different kinds of Slayers. The Zombie Slayer, which the main boss is the Reverend Horror. The Spider Slayer, the main boss is the Tarantula Broodfather. Wolf, the main boss is the Sven Packmaster, and Enderman, the main, main boss is the Void Gloom Seraph. Now, how Slayers work is basically, for, basically, you'll go to Maddox in the, in the bartender's thing, in the bar, I guess. Why do I call it the bartender's thing? It's just like the bar, I guess. Uh, but you'll go to the basement, you'll go to Maddox, and you'll, and you'll pay to activate the quest. I don't get why you'll pay to activate it. You're the one who's doing the quest for me. You should be paying you to do it. Well, anyways. You'll basically pay to pay to activate the quest, and then you'll have to go slay a certain amount of of the mob from whatever type of slayer you're doing. So if it's like zombies, it's zombies. If it's tarantulas or spiders, it's spiders. Whatever you get it, and then after you kill a certain combat XP's worth, you'll, you'll the, the boss will arrive, and then you have to kill that, and then boom, you get slayer XP, which you use to level up your slayer, and through each level of slayer you get um, different unlocks and stuff. And for each, for, for like the majority of the unlocks I mentioned before, I think, it's just like stuff that'll help you progress the Slayers faster. So it's literally just like, it's not even gonna be worth it outside until you get like to a really high level because then you get like, for example, with the Zombie Slayer, you get like the really cool Night Hat, the Warden Helmet, which is the coolest helmet in the game. Not only is the most powerful, but also it just looks so cool. I, honestly, I would just buy it before I get Zombie Slayer 8 just because of how cool it looks. And then I'll get made fun of by people in three quarter Necron and, and, and a Warden Helmet for not having Zombie Slayer 8. So you know what, in retrospect, I probably won't do that. But anyways, you get it. Now I was exaggerating a bit when I said there's like a single useful drop at the very end of each thing because there are actually a couple pretty good ones. Like, for example, with Zombie Slayer, you get the the recipes for the Reaper Scythe, the Reaper Mask, and the Warden Helmet, like I mentioned before. Reaper Mask gives you, like, really good healing. Warden Helmet is just godlike. And Reaper Scythe, I barely know anything about. It's just, it's, it's a scythe, so it's automatically cool. Anyways, with Spider, you get the Tarantula Talisman, which all talismans are really good. The Mosquito Bow, which I highly doubt anyone cares about after the new Enderman Slayer update. And the Fly Swatter, which only Technoblade and Squid Kid use. With the Wolf Slayer, you get the recipes for those orbs that like give you buffs and stuff. And finally, with the Enderman, there's a whole crap ton, but the most notable is the Terminator Bow, which is just the absolute godlike bow that's twice the price of a Hyperion. Uh, there's probably way more, but I don't care. A couple more quick notable things about Slayers 
is that they do give you basically the best minions in the game. Like right now, a tier 3 Voidling minion is like better than a tier 11 Snow because it's cheaper and everything. I made a whole video on that. Go check it out after this. No, if you actually stay here for now, watch this entire video because I need watch time. And then go check out that one. There's a card up in the corner. You should go click that definitely when we're all done here. Because this is the best Slayer Guide you've ever seen. No one else has ever made a Slayer Guide. I'm the only one who's ever made a Slayer Guide. But anyways, yeah, there's a whole thing about how Tier 3 Voidlings are way better than Tier 11 Snow Minions. Although the recipe is a pain in the ass to get, so I would just go find someone who has the recipe and buy it from them. Like, honestly, I grinded to- because you need, you, need you need level 4 Enderman Slayer to actually get the recipe, and I was grinding to level 3 by doing Tier 1 Enderman Slayers alone, because you basically need a half a billion coins to be able to do Enderman Slayer 2, and it's, like, impossible. Because a tier like because for it's so hard that for example the tier four I believe can like one shot you in full Necron's armor. But anyways, one other thing to note is that if you do want to like max out your Slayer to get Slayer level nine for each one, it is hella expensive. It costs a hundred million coins per Slayer to get to Slayer level nine. I don't even know why anyone would want to get to Slayer level nine because you you get like. A couple of things you don't you, you you don't get that much by getting to by getting to like level nine. Like for example, with the the zombie slayer, you get like a tier twelve revenant minion. Which probably never pay off because like half a it's like more than a Hyperion to get a single tier twelve revenant minion. I believe. I don't know why anyone in their right minds would want to do that, but who knows? I guess some people do. Anyways, there's probably so much stuff that I missed in this 100% serious guide. I'm sorry, I forgot to go over every single pixel of the tier 5 atoned horror or whatever whatever the hell it's called, the last Slayer boss. But I don't care. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.